Hi, I'm Tom Freiburg from WWI Magazine, coming to you from the show floor here at the IDA World Congress in Tianjin, China. I'm pleased to say I'm joined by Brett Andrews, who is from Hydronautics. Brett, good to see you, and uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Tom. Okay, so Brett, give us, a, for those of you who are sort of unaware, the, the history and some of the context, and more, more about Hydronautics and, and Nitodenko as, as companies. Okay, great, yeah. Well, first of all, Hydronautics um, forms part of Nitodenko's global, global membrane division which consists of uh, Oceanside, California, Shiga, Japan, and Shanghai, China. And the three together form our global membrane division. And Nino Denko, um, obviously f headquartered in Osaka, 95-year history, specialty um, applications in polymer film synthesis. So Nino Denko specializes in polymer films and coating technologies. And hence, the membrane division is obviously very important to Nino Denko because we can utilize a lot of that uh, technology in making our membrane products. Okay, um, I mean, what about hydronautics? You mentioned uh, Nilodenko. Mm -hmm. how, how does that really play into the overall kind of group? Well, hydronautics is, is our brand uh, throughout the NITO Global Membrane Division. So, formed in uh, 1963 in Oceanside, California, actually purchased by Nilodenko in 1987. So, we've had a, a broad history of, of membrane technology over the last 50 years. And really, hydronautics is the brand that spearheads NITO's membrane group. And in terms of applications, we're not just looking at seawater reverse osmosis. Perhaps talk about some of the markets you're involved with as well. Okay. Yeah, seawater is a part of our business, but also important is the um, broad spectrum of uh, water and non-water separations. For example, we're involved in ultra-pure water uh, throughout the world, in microelectronics, uh, high-pressure boiler feed. We're involved in surface water, either for drinking or for industrial use. We're involved in uh, wastewater and wastewater reuse, which is a, a very important part of our business. And then in process applications, so unique um, non-water, such as dairy, um, colour removal, concentration or recovery of, of certain materials. So a broad spectrum of membrane applications. Excellent. Now, um, you mentioned the 90 plus years for you know, Denko. What about right. the, the 50 years that Hydronautics has been involved in this market? It's five decades of development, R&D and investment. Talk us through some of your kind of right. major milestones and, and highlights from, from that, that time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously 50 years old, we've seen a, a lot of uh, change and advancement in the company, starting in the 60s. In the 70s, really coming up with the first um, RO membranes in the world, one of the first companies to produce those. Obviously, cellulose acetate in those days. So we advanced from CA technology to the polyamide technology. And if you look at, um, we're the first company to bring out energy saving membranes. So our ESPA products were the, the world leader in energy saving. And we progressed from there. We moved to the broad spectrum of the, the membrane separations technology. So not just RO, we moved into nanofiltration, so specialty applications there, um, to ultrafiltration and microfiltration. So the whole integrated sort of membrane solution. Excellent. And obviously here on display, something you're, you're pushing here to the, the audience in Tianjin right. is your integrated membrane solution. So give us a talk through some of the, uh, the products here. Okay. Well, integrated membrane solutions, first of all, really means that we can offer the broad spectrum of membrane technology. So our customers can rely on you know, our, our experience and our expertise in all membrane separations. So from feed water to final disposal, we can handle the whole spectrum. And here we have you know, a sample of our products. This one here is our Nano SW, which is our latest um, nanofiltration membrane, specifically for sulfate removal in the oil and gas industry. Okay, I'm now joined by Baska Davy, who we last uh, interviewed at the Singapore International Water Week. And uh, Baska, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Tom. Thank you. Uh, so now you're going to give us some more sort of uh, technical details on your LD technology and, and what you're really offering here at the booth. Yeah. So LD technology stands for the Lower Differential Pressure Technology. And basically, the key issue facing uh, uh, in our industry is the fouling of the membrane. So LD is actually the unique combination of uh, several technologies combined to offer a solution for the fouling. So th there are three key areas in the LD technology. One is the uh, membrane chemistry itself has been uh, 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 re uh, renovated to have a higher level of cross-linking so that it has a uh, resistance to chemical degradation. So now the membrane can be used at a much higher pH in operation. Also, it can be cleaned at the uh, uh, extreme pH. Second part here is that there is an innovative geometry 
in a spacer to minimize the colloidal fouling. And the third aspect is the, uh, uh, there is a biostatic agent built into the spacer to ret retard the growth of microbiological activity in the membrane. So overall, the membrane provides a, a superior quality of a permeate because of uh, a prevention of a fouling, uh, provides a longer lasting uh, membrane because it requires a less cleaning. Uh, and the third part is uh, operational efficiency is improved because there is a uh, minimal colloidal and biological fouling. Okay, so we just heard from Basco Dave on your LD technology, but um, what about looking forward, Brett, in terms of future markets? You mentioned here the, the membrane for oil and gas and kind right. of industrial markets. Where do you think the, the future and really kind of the business lies for uh, desalination? Okay, I mean, our opinion, membrane technology, um, there's a real need for true innovation. So new membrane techniques to, to treat new different streams, different uh, processes, uh, reduce energy, and one of the things in Denko, we are going to start utilizing more and more of NITO's technology. So as a specialist in polymer film synthesis, uh, we have some very unique chemistries, and very unique materials which we're going to start looking at incorporating in, into our membrane products. Okay, so obviously increased efficiencies down right. the line, reduced cost per cubic meter of desalination. That's right, yeah. So how can we do that, reduce the energy, by doing it a totally different way? Um, the other thing we're looking at more into is wastewater recycle and how can we go to more zero liquid discharge again by treating you know, this very high salinity and difficult streams. So pretty looking at water treatment from the overall cycle from, from intake through to discharge. That's great. Okay, well uh, Brett, thanks for the update and we wish you the best of luck going forward and the rest of your time here in Tianjin, China. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.